Today, we're getting an early look at the Esmeralda's Prayer event before it is available in every kingdom. So stick around to see exactly how it works. And yeah, actually, you can do a lot of this free to play. So let's get started. Hello, my friends, and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming, and in this video sponsored by the makers of Rise of Kingdoms, we're going to go over the Esmeralda's Prayer event, which is a new holiday event format that I hope has not replaced the coveted and much-enjoyed 7,000 gem event, where it's really, really easy to get crazy rewards and a crazy city theme. So here are the events that I can show you for now for the springtime events, and there are more coming, by the way. Uh, in this particular kingdom, we've got the Race Against Time. It is very relevant because you get this coin right over here, Esmeralda's Wishing Coin. This is what you use to play this event, Esmeralda's Prayer. There also is a series of quests called Dreams of Spring, and weirdly enough, no coins so far are awarded in this event. It looks like there's no premium currency, no secondary currency, this is maybe a much more simplified version of a holiday event because all those currencies are gone. Instead, all you need are these coins right over here, and this is the main way that you get them. Esmeralda's Collection. This is going to give you a number of ways to go and get these coins to play the event. That includes every single day training a small amount of troops, gathering from resource points, defeating barbarians, and purchasing 15 things in the courier station. That is four per day. Now, assuming every kingdom has this event for 10 days, which would be nice, that would mean uh, that you could get 40 of these just from this over here, but I'm not done. Also, there is the blessings above. This looks like it is a one-time thing for getting a bunch more of the coins. Logging in five days gives you five coins. Spending 3,000 gems gives you four coins. Spending a total of 60 of these coins which I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute here, gives you a seven-day city theme, which is actually not the worst. It's a good city theme. And you get four more coins, by the way. And destroying 20 barbarian forts, very achievable. That's going to give you four coins. And if you were wondering, well, uh, is that still enough ways to get coins free to play? There are more ways to get those coins free to play in the event calendar. If we just get a look, uh, the Race Against Time, as I said, has some of these coins. Presumably, there will be more of them that show up over the next couple days. Maybe, maybe not. Uh, but I actually can show you right over here in Race Against Time, the tiered reward for the second tier of Race Against Time, where you just battle a bunch of barbarians in a nine-minute window. Uh, that's the oversimplification. If you actually want to win this thing, all the card up in the top, you can check it out at the end of this video. At the third tier of rewards, which like pretty much every moderate uh, leveled governor account can go and do, there's two more wishing coins, and then... Boom, all the way up top, three more coins. And by the way, the rank rewards are really good. Like, a ton of these legendary material crates? Hello. Rank 4 through 10 is actually pretty coveted. Even rank 11 through 20. Like, yes, I would like a legendary crate. Heck, 21 to 50, three epic crates. So, uh, like, y you're going to want to consider racing against time, especially in a smaller kingdom where you can be really, really competitive. Um, That seems like a good way to get some extra materials. But let's jump to the thing you're much more interested in probably. This right over here. How does it work? How do you do it? Let me show you. This is Esmeralda's Prayer, and there's going to be three dials on this thing. And I was actually chatting with Cortex to decipher everything that's on here, but we figured it out. The outside layer of this thing is the special prize tier. There's only one of these. Once you get the special prize tier, it's gone. And the probabilities for getting other things will shift accordingly. In addition, there is an inside layer of prizes. In fact, I'll point to them right here. This inside layer of prizes has a limited number of each prize shown on the inside of each of these fans that's showing, you know, the prize sections here. The, the portion of the wheel of the, the sort of Wheel of Fortune. This actually looks more like a classic Wheel of Fortune like the game show, sort of. Anyways... Uh, there's probably 12 of these epic crates, 35 universal legendary commander sculptures, and so on. So if we look at the rules, you're going to spend those wishing coins that I've been telling you about all video, how you get them, and the prizes are divided into eight types of normal prizes and four types of special prizes. When all four of the special prizes have been won, you automatically receive all of the remaining prizes on the wheel. Okay! I mean, can you imagine if you just get crazy lucky 
and then like uh, you just get everything on the wheel, it's unlikely, but some number of people will. So uh, the chances of winning a certain prize may decrease due to the restrictions in the amount remaining. Correspondingly, the chances of winning other prizes may increase as the amount of this prize decreases. Anyways, they're saying that probabilities will change based on the number of each thing remaining. Each time the wheel is spun, you must spend at least one wishing coin. For subsequent spins, you could spend up to three wishing coins. And for each extra wishing coin you spend, you gain an extra pointer. Hmm. Uh, okay, we're going to spin this thing a few times and we'll get a look. Each pointer is separate from the other pointers. Once the wheel is cleared, leftover wishing coins can be exchanged for gold keys, crystals. Crystals? Or speed up items. Unexchanged wishing coins will be reclaimed. Crystals. Really? Weird. The probabilities are really slim. It is a city theme, and I'll talk about that theme very briefly, in fact. Okay, I can't tap it here, so I'll show it to you in a bit. 0.52%. Very low. 0.52% on the floral arrangement. 0.08%. Dude, nobody's getting this. On the blueprint, and then 008 on... And I think that's a complete blueprint, by the way, uh, for an accessory. And then this is a three-day speed up. And then the rest of the items in here... 4.7% on the Blueprint Fragment Choice Chest. 12.94% uh, on the Gold Keys. 9.41 on Pick One Resources. The Starlight Sculptures are 12.55. Equipment Material Choice Chest. That's a really nice one. 10.35. Uh, Eight-hour Training Speeds. 12.55. The Legendary Commander Sculptures are 13.72. And the eight-hour Speed Ups are 22.58. Now, I went and I got a few of these coins free to play, but if you were wondering where are all the places you could get them, it includes the event I showed you, the Race for Time event. The Spring Fever Bundle is one way that I haven't showed you because it's not available yet, so you can buy your way into some number of these, and uh, there is also gems that you can spend. Right over here is a little purchase button, and they are not cheap, bro. 1,200 gems per coin. Yikes, that's actually quite steep. But the time has come. Let's actually spin this thing and see what it looks like. And uh, I don't know. Are we getting lucky? We get anything good? Let's find out. Spin the wheel and resources. Yay. All right. So I got resources. One level four pick one resource crate is really unimpressive. And if you look very closely on the screen, there is now one less of that prize available in the pool. Now, I can increase the number of pointers that I have um, up to three, and there's just a dial that's letting me do that. So I'm not really sure what the value is of having more pointers. I can just reread that one more time. For each extra wishing coin you spend, you will gain one extra pointer, and each pointer is separate. So I don't think that there's actually any value to having more pointers other than it goes faster, but what the heck? Two pointers it is. Let's spin and see what happens for those short on time and want their rewards fast. Here we go. Boom. I got a gold head and I got the bundle of dazzling starlight sculptures. You can see the number of each of those prizes has gone down. If I look at the rules, has the probabilities shifted? Uh, maybe, but I can't tell if they actually did over here. Because um, it did say that as the number of them remaining goes down and up, whatever. Um, okay. If you were wondering, is this city theme even all that good in the first place? We can go and get a look now at the city theme. We'll go into the city hall, scroll all the way down, and uh, spoiler alert, yeah, it's a good theme, okay? Right over here, Mighty Forest. Looks cool, by the way. 5% cav health is fa just fantastic. That's what you want. You want health, and you want to lose attack. This is the best case scenario. This is because of the way... That stats generally work. The more you have of a stat, the less valuable it becomes. That's just the nature of diminishing returns uh, for this game. And if you're wondering exactly how that works, or you want to see the race against time, I'll have the card up in top for those videos. I've got to get back to fighting in my KVK. So I guess if you want to see the most insane rally report, I think of all time, the card will also be up in the top for that video. And until next time, you have fun smashing your enemies.